Unforeseen failures in aerial vehicle's actuators can often lead to severe consequences without a strong fault tolerance control strategy. We present Neurofly for Fault Tolerance, or NFFT, an innovative method to detect and manage actuator failures in multi-rotor aircraft without direct sensor feedback during active operations. NFFT can be applied across various aircraft configurations, including hybrid EVTOL models featuring fixed wings. Given an aircraft with a baseline feedback controller, NFFT runs an online adaptation loop during which it takes the measured vehicle state as an input to the rapid L1 regularized recursive estimator to adapt and estimate the effectiveness of each actuator. Then it computes the optimal control allocation for the unfailed actuators to maximize control authority while preserving the nominal performance characteristics. Finally, an enhanced version of Neurofly, a learning-based adaptive controller, estimates unaccounted aerodynamic forces, resulting in more accurate fault identification, as well as improved tracking under dynamic conditions. We compare the performance of the baseline PID controller and NFFT during an actuator failure event while in hover. NFFT quickly identifies the failed actuator. The optimized control allocation allows faster attitude recovery. When flying at high speed, the baseline quickly loses altitude following a failure event, while NFFT successfully recovers and continues to track the desired trajectory. Looking at the onboard footage, again, the baseline experiences severe loss of controllability, forcing the test to be aborted. The same is true for Neurofly, which compensates for unknown aerodynamic residual forces but does not respond to actuator faults. NFFT combines Neurofly with sparse failure identification and optimal control allocation to detect and recover from actuator faults even during high-speed flights, allowing the aircraft to continue its mission. As seen on these plots, NFFT results in fast attitude recovery following an actuator fault during high-speed maneuvers, with the errors converging to zero in all axes within seconds, drawing closer to the performance of the omniscient controller, which has predetermined knowledge of the failures.